and today is all about chocolate. Chocolate is a favorite for so many persons. They either like chocolate ice cream or chocolate smoothie, chocolate chip cookies, it's a real favorite. But today we're gonna to be making the simple chocolate cake. So let's go over the ingredients. We have one and three quarter cups of all-purpose flour, which I would have sieved. We have three quarter cup of cocoa powder. We have two eggs. I'm using brown eggs today, but if you have white eggs, that's okay. We have two cups of granulated sugar. Half teaspoon of salt. One and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract to give you an additional flavor. And our raisin agents, we have one and a half teaspoon of baking powder and one and a half teaspoon of baking soda. I'm using one cup of almond milk, but if you don't have almond milk, you can use whatever kind of milk you have. Half cup of olive oil and another half cup of water. Our first step is to add all of our dry ingredients together. So I'm gonna put our flour, our sugar. You can see the marked difference between the two for the texture. We're gonna add our salt. Then we're gonna add our baking powder and baking soda. And the star of our dish, cocoa powder. Now I'm going to whisk everything together. We need to make sure that everything is fully incorporated, especially the baking powder and the baking soda. We don't want any clumps. So I'm gonna whisk everything together. Then we're gonna go ahead and mix our wet ingredients. So we're gonna mix all of our wet ingredients. So we're gonna add our eggs. I'm gonna give it a light whisk. Once our eggs are in, just to break, break it up. Now we're gonna add our milk. And as we add the middle, I'll just gently whisk, get everything well mixed. We're gonna add our vanilla extract. We're gonna add our oil. I'm using extra virgin olive oil to our mixture. And then we're gonna add a little bit of water, half cup of water. And once we have all our ingredients our wet ingredients together, we're gonna pour it into our dry ingredients. It's important to get our batter really smooth though if you see some small lumps that you will see like these ones here get a spatula and just smash them against the side of your dish of your bowl like this one you see the, the powder we don't want that powder so we need to smash as many of them and to avoid that happening you always whisk your cocoa powder you know that's much better i would have removed a whole set of those small little pockets of powder now if you don't get them all that's okay the heat from the oven will take care of the rest but it's smooth enough for me to put into our prepared tray then we're going to go ahead and bake for about 25 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean our simple chocolate cake is now ready for the oven you would have noticed that the Batter is a little thin. That is because we would have used oil instead of butter. But when this is finished, it will be so moist and delicious. Our simple chocolate cake is done. I allowed it to cool for a few moments, took a slice. Now it's time to taste. So moist and so decadent, absolutely delicious. I highly recommend trying this recipe if you have a special occasion 
or just because. Simple chocolate cake. Now you need to try it. If you have enjoyed this chocolate cake recipe, I want you to look over here, see some of my other desserts, and once you have watched them all, just click the button below, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I post a video. And remember to leave me a comment. I love hearing from you.